Chapter Three. Alone in the bunkhouse, George thanks Slim for giving Lenny a pup. Slim comments on Lenny's ability to work hard and mentions that it is obvious Lenny is not too bright. Slim then asks why Lenny and George go around together, because most of the ranch hands he's seen are always alone and never seem to give a damn about nobody. Feeling comfortable with Slim, George explains that he knew Lenny's aunt. After her death, Lenny just naturally began staying with George and following him around. At first, George accepted Lenny's company because he could play jokes on Lenny, who didn't realize he was being made fun of. But one day, George told Lenny to jump into the Sacramento River, which Lenny did, even though he couldn't swim. Lenny nearly drowned before George was able to pull him out, and since then, there's been no more jokes. George also confides in Slim about Lenny's trouble in weed. When Lenny touched a girl's dress, the girl screamed. Lenny got so scared that George had to hit him with a fence post to get him to let go. The girl then claimed she had been raped, and so Lenny and George hid in an irrigation ditch and left late in the night. Carlson then enters and complains bitterly about the smell of Candy's dog, offering to shoot it to put it out of its misery. Candy looks to the other guys, particularly Slim, for help with this decision. Slim sides with Carlson, so Candy reluctantly lets Carlson take the dog outside to be executed. Later, Crooks comes in, announcing that Lenny is petting the pups too much in the barn. Wit, another ranch hand, asks George if he has seen Curly's wife yet. George is non-committal, and Wit remarks on her provocative dress. They discuss going into one of the town whorehouses that evening, and George tells Wit he might go, but only to have a drink because he is saving his money for a steak. Curly enters then, looking for his wife. When he hears that she isn't there and that Slim is in the barn, he goes to the barn. Wit and Carlson follow, hoping for a fight. Disgustedly, George remarks that a whorehouse is a lot better for a guy than jailbait, and he mentions the story of a friend who ended up in prison over a tart. Lenny loses interest and asks George once again about their farm. Candy overhears their discussion and offers to contribute three hundred dollars towards the cost if George and Lenny will let him join them. George eventually agrees, and then the three men muse on what their place will be like. They agree not to tell anyone of their plans. Candy admits he should have shot his dog himself. The other guys filter back into the bunkhouse. Slim is angry at Curly for constantly asking about his wife. Curly, on the defensive and looking for someone to fight, picks a fight with Lenny and pinches him unmercifully. Lenny doesn't protect himself until George tells him to fight back. When Lenny does, he crushes all the bones in Curly's hand. Slim says they must get Curly to a doctor, but he cautions Curly that if he tells on Lenny and gets him fired, they will spread the word about how Curly's hand really got hurt, and everyone will laugh at him. Badly shaken and in pain, Curly agrees not to tell. George explains to Slim that Lenny didn't mean to hurt Curly; he was just scared. Because of what he has done, Lenny is afraid he won't get to tend the rabbits on their farm. George tells Lenny that it was not his fault, and that he will get to tend the rabbits. Then he sends Lenny off to wash his face.